Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out another training video for the Indian Army Commandos. This one is Indian Army Commando Training and Gorkha Training. I'm Nathan. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. Uh, yeah, Tr uh, Trinity's still out. Rachel is still out because she's got, got a really bad headache, so she's going to sit this video out. She sat out last one. Uh, but hopefully she'll be back soon. But real quick, before we check this out, just want to say thank you guys again for all your support on the channel. And if you can, can you guys hit that like and the subscribe button, followed by that little notification bell. Bing! I see the light. She said it. So, without further delays, let's go ahead and jump right into this because I am curious. See, I love watching uh, Commando and Special Forces training videos, so let's check out another one for the Indian Army. In the eyes of instructors, the crime is severe. Strength of any team is decided by its weakest link. The weakest link is the one just say sorry mistakes. And for this, there can only be one punishment at Commando School. The dreaded Koninala. This is one dreaded Nala. If you even go close to it, you can smell the unwanted odor, which you would not like to even smell. You're like laying it. You know, like a Namsan tape to the end of the day. That much just smells so rancid. What is that? It is very spendy. What? <laughs> One commando's error is now everyone's nightmare. And there is a purpose behind this. In commando operations, an error by one can mean death for all. Super instructor, the sole purpose of this punishment is to ensure that no commando ever forgets his weapon. And that none of his oh. men oh. Oh. nothing better than the gut-wrenching vile and putrid smells and tastes of the Kuminala, making sure nobody repeats such a mistake. That is 3 30 pm, the sun finally starts to set on day four. But the next 31 days are going to be far more excruciating. The tests get tougher, the stakes get higher. Teamwork and military precision will define who makes it in the end. So how do they ready themselves for the storm that lies ahead? I would say galat fehmi jo hai uske dimag mein ki mujhe 6 ghante ki neend chahiye sabse pehle hum usko wo dur karte hain myth hai uske dimag mein jo abhi tak bana hua hai ye myth todte hain every night for the first two weeks at commando school the commandos live in an extreme state of uncertainty the only thing that they're certain of is that they're going to get no sleep but the form of physical pain coming their way is a mystery I think I'm sleeping. This PT initially starts at 4 o'clock when the course is starting. And as soon as the course is growing, this PT is at 9 o'clock, then at 2 o'clock, then at 1.30 o'clock. So at 1.30 o'clock, if you are doing a PT at 1.30 to 6 o'clock, it is obviously breaking that cycle. Airboat 
दो हफ्ते हम लोग लेते हैं उसके फिजिकल फिटनेस बिल्डअप करने के लिए और जो फिजिकल फिटनेस का का जो ग्राफ है वो बहुत ही स्टीप है दो हफ्ते में हम लोग बिल्कुल उसको एक्सट्रीम में ले जाते हैं तो पूरी बायोलॉजिकल साइकिल हमने उसकी पूरी ब्रेक कर दी जब उसको सोना चाहिए था वो कहीं पे दौड़ रहा है और जब दिन में पूरी जहाँ पे उसको जगना चाहिए था वहाँ पे उसको क्लासेस कर रहा है जहाँ पे वो सो रहा है ब्रेकफास्ट टाइमिंग चार बजे या तीन बजे एक्चुअली कोई ब्रेकफास्ट नहीं होता बट यहाँ पे हम लोग फोर्स करते हैं कि ठीक है तो उनके तीन बजे आपका ब्रेकफास्ट है या फिर डिनर आपका बारह बजे रात के बारह बजे मिड नाइट में Over the first two weeks of commando school, the instructors make nights melt into each other. The main focus is an extreme sleep deprivation, so that these young soldiers can advance to the next stage of becoming lethal commandos. We'll see how long they can lay out sleep. The dizzying first two weeks of commando school come to an end. Breaking down their body clocks has left the commandos with a fuzzy brain, blurry vision, and a complete sense of disorientation. But according to the instructors, this is the best time to test their skills in the field. Ah, कहीं भी मैंने पढ़ा था कि you will not know कि how strong you are until and unless Being strong is the only option left for you. We create a similar kind of situation over here. Dang, you see stuff like that, and wow, it's but you that you've got to do that stuff. Like I can see what they're saying, putting them through um, the training when they're they're at their fuzziest in their brain, to see how you're going to react when you're the most tired you've ever been in your life, to see what kind of decision making. The ability, yeah, you're able to to have in that in such situations like that, and just watching those guys in the video, just seeing how tired they are. Like mm -hmm. that one guy, they showed him real quick. He was doing a sit up. It looked like he was asleep. It looked yeah. like he was just asleep doing a sit up. And you're like, oh my gosh, that looked that looked intense. And when they had him put part of that swampy stuff in their mouth, Ooh. I think they're doing a really excellent. Excellent job of training because oh, yeah. the whole motto of you know one slip hook can kill your whole team. Mm -hmm. If you really think about that, you don't want to be that one guy you know that gets real sleepy, makes a mistake, falls asleep at your post, and you know they yeah. sneak in and kill your whole your whole team. That would be devastating. So I see you completely understand why they do everything they do, and I think it's pretty awesome that they do it just you know to prove yeah you know their Indian ability. Why they um. <laughs> What's it called? I would like to say it's freezing in here. It feels good. Because Why they know. basically put all of them in punishment for one person's mistake? Because like they said in the video, it's that one person's mistake can get everybody killed. And I know watching other um, military videos, not just Indian military, and um, knowing people who have been in the U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Army and stuff like that here, is yeah, the not leaving your weapon stuff like that that is huge that is a huge thing so completely understandable why they do stuff like that and it's good to see that they don't at least with the commando stuff and i'm sure it's the same with the u.s military under the special forces the commando stuff there ain't no slacking like they're gonna there sorry ain't there, no slack there ain't no slack two negatives in a ain't no slacking two negatives make a positive that they're gonna put you through whatever sort of heck that they can put you through to get you ready yeah, to be the best of the best. Ain't none of this. Hey, I feel um, I feel stressed out. Let me put a stress card up. Uh, junk like they what like they that? do in, in like the white flags or under. Yeah, it's like no, nah, like in times of war, and if they're sending you off to do stuff, you've got to be mentally prepared. You've got to understand. You've got to be physically fit. You got to be able to do the job. And that's why I love watching the the special forces type training because the stuff they put them through is just I would love to try it myself not saying I would make it through it because more likely I wouldn't but just to try to put myself through it to see how far I could go would would be would be awesome I, I would you make it far yeah I, I, I would love to try military that military obstacle courses yeah again not saying that I'm a tough dude and that oh I could do it it's easy absolutely not that looks so hard that looks so hard but that's why I would love to push myself to see um, how far I could go and how much of that I could take. Um, it's just, 
it, and just to, just to show that much more respect and admiration towards those individuals who are able to go the distance and do all that stuff. Uh, Troy, what you think? I thought it was a pretty cool video. Um, like y'all were saying, the leaving your weapon behind or that one little mistake could get you mm -hmm. all killed. Because I remember watching this thing or this uh, guy. He was doing training when he dropped his grenade somewhere. And uh, it wasn't pinned, but the pin wasn't pulled, thankfully. But when the commander was like, uh, the instructor was like, throw your grenades, he was like, I dropped my grenade somewhere. And that was like a real war situation, and it actually, the pin accidentally got pulled, like if someone stepped on it or something, and it blew up, it could kill so many people. But not only that, if you really needed that grenade, like maybe a Humvee or something came in. Yeah, you don't have it because you dropped you it. Because you weren't paying attention to your equipment. Yeah. Very good. Trinity? We're gonna, we're gonna put you into through one of those tests. I okay. Even though I'm a girl, like it still makes me feel like I want to do that. I definitely couldn't do that because I can't even do a push up. I can't even run. They build you up though. But Ow. it yeah, looks so sure fun. They, they expect you to be able to do a push up. Like I feel like if you go through that training, you must have so much um, mental like, power. pride. Oh I, yeah, I can imagine just the, the the sense of accomplishment. Yeah, like you would feel like <laughs> yeah. amazing. Like if I. Okay, uh, the day I can do like a real push up, I will feel like a woman. that chick. Like, I'll be like, that, yeah, the day I'll feel like I have a crown on. Like, the day she can officially do one real just push up. Just one. Like, I can't, I try so hard. Sometimes I really do try really hard, but I don't know what's wrong with me. But, um, I feel like that right there, that is so cool. And I would, I would not be, um, adverse to trying that. I would love to try it. I that wish I had so it. Cool. Absolutely. That's the only reason why. I, well, not the only reason. That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to do firefighter stuff because they said we had to do some like physical stuff beforehand. I don't no. doubt I can. That's why you, if if you really want it, you guys to push yourself. If you're like, yeah, I want to train, train, build yourself up. I think you up. have to do your mentality yeah. first because my mentality is still very lazy, so I don't have any ambition. It does help to have the good mental. Sucked for Jordan because Jordan could not follow his very young age dream of going to the military because of my condition. But I would still love to try. But that would probably result in that. It would not be good. <laughs> so me, Troy, and Trinity are all going to try it. Yeah, we'll try, try it here. We'll make our own boot camp. Jordan, you can be the guy with the whistle. I want to try it. Yeah, Jordan can be the whistle man. No, I'm going to try it. Uh, but yeah, that was really cool. I would like to watch an actual series if we could. I know there was one we kind of watched early on, but we had to do a lot of cutting on it. So maybe if there's one out there that's a uh, continuing series, maybe of. Yeah, it's really hard to talk. Oh, so look, he does not have the mental capacity to talk and go to, through this. To check he out. would not make it. All right, leave him alone. Are you guys done? Are you done? Are you guys done? I was testing. Yeah, you guys see that? What? Constantly touching on me, constantly. I mean, look at this screen. You, you guys saw you guys saw the one video. Was, for some reason, I had like a weird foot fetish, trying to take my shoe off for some weird reason. But yeah, let us know if there's some uh, other uh, good military training, some more commando type training videos that we can check out. We'd love yeah. to. We'd love, love watching that stuff. Videos. So thank you guys again so much for all your support on the channel. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Love each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Love you. Trinity, you can go warm up now. Miss I'm freezing. It's, it's not. No, it's not. It feels good. No, it touches. Yes, it does. That is like cold. It's making me kind of sick to my no. stomach. Hey, Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out another Indian Army. No, wait. Three, two, one. Hey.